Hey friends, welcome back to another arena battle going up against HFK Griffith. A couple uh, stone golems up front. I was still not sold on the double stone golems up front. I think the single one's still better, but I've been wrong before. Let's see where the nuke lies here. Okay, pretty even on the nukes. I'll, I'll take it. I'm happy with that. Let's see uh, if we can end up... Oh yeah, we got this one. No problem. Like I said, if I get a fair shake on the nukes, I win 95% of my battles. If I don't, so 1.5. I mean, I don't. if we have the same damage, I'll take it. Uh, all right, so Voodoo Dolls did pretty good. Um, Peltas, mine were pretty much non-existent. Um, okay, well, hmm. So I put the two... Uh, pirate ships up there in the front because everyone else I'm fighting seems to get like 200,000 each when they have them up there and not so much with mine um, probably the reason for that is because not everyone else has uh, seven undead soldiers up there to go fight with so that's probably some of the reason but uh, I'm thinking I like the two up front two in the back there but we'll see I might move this single one up front again right behind the stone golem and then the other two in the back or one more in the back but um, this one seems to be doing all right so we'll kick it around a little bit see what the enemy did um so his one of his stone golems died up front and i'm not sure if that's the reason why all my wow not a single one of my um magic apprentices died so they pretty much just mopped up on him since both of his uh Stone Golems in the back died, so that's kind of good. All his tanks didn't survive. That's kind of why I like the the pirate ships in the back, because they tank like mad, and then when they die, they have angry pirates there to, that can help take out the magic apprentices. So, All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.